Hey guys, I device help here. Welcome back to the channel. And it just seems like Apple every single day releases a new software update. And this is a good thing actually, because it looks like Apple is aiming to fix every single issue with your iPhone or iPad as soon as possible. Now today on November the 7th, Apple just released iOS 13.2.2. And as you can see there, I'm going to update right now because this software aims to fix uh, one thing and one thing that's very, very important, this software is highly recommended to be installed on your device. And we'll get to some of the details as into why you need to update to iOS 13.2.2. Now, what's quite interesting, Apple released iOS 13.2, and today they released 13.2.2, skipping 13.2.1 altogether. So this software, as you can see here, brings bug fixes and improvements to the iPhone. Now, many of you guys already know that Apple has had an issue with multitasking or RAM management on iOS 13.2. So for example, if you were in Safari, you opened Safari, you were watching maybe a YouTube video in the YouTube application, and you background an application, which means you put it in the app switcher and you head on over to the home screen. Now the application, it's supposed to be frozen in the background. And when you go back into Safari or whatever application you background, you're picking up exactly where you left off. Well, in iOS 13.2, the application or the actual content will have to reload entirely which means the iPhone will be using more RAM, more battery, more power to run, and this will cause, of course, battery drainage and performance issue. Now, iOS 13.2.2 fixes this issue, and hopefully it does. Of course, I'll do a follow-up video on this, but Apple aims to fix various issues with the RAM management and multitasking initially presented with iOS 13.2. This was a bug that I did cover, and I asked you guys on a specific video. I'll link it down below in case you didn't know about this. But it's highly recommended and important that you update your iPhone to iOS 13.2.2 because this software aims to fix that issue. This will bring, of course, battery improvements, hopefully, to everyone. And, of course, better CPU and RAM management on your iPhone. So it's highly recommended. You can go to settings right now, software update. The software will populate for you. Of course, I'm going to download it right now. I'm going to be testing the software, and I'll be back with a follow-up to let you guys know if the issue has been resolved. But I highly recommend you check it out right now and update your device if you're having these issues with any application, whether it's an Apple app or a third-party application, iOS 13.2.2 aims to fix these issues. I'm very happy that Apple is doing this. Thank you for watching this quick update. Hope you guys have a great day and I'll see you real soon. Peace.